Today, I have an Excel challenge for you, and this challenge is going to test your formula writing skills. So my wife recently went to a baby shower and she was telling me about this cool guessing game they played to guess the stats of the baby, but they didn't have a way to calculate who the winner was. And so what they needed was an Excel hero, which is where you come in to help determine uh, who the winner of this game is going to be. And on my screen here, you can see the spreadsheet that has the data. And in this column over here, we have the participants. So these are all the attendees of the baby shower. And then we have columns for their guesses. So they had to guess the date of the birth, the time of the birth, the weight, and the length in inches of the baby. And they all put their guesses here. And then we have the actuals up here. Now this is just made up numbers, but we're going to use this uh, to determine who the winner would be. So here's our actual stats for the baby. And then we have a set of rules with points. So over here in this box, I have the rules. So uh, each participant will start with 50 points per category. And then the following points will be deducted from each category when there's a variance between the actual and the guessed value. So for example, in this column here, we'll just start with Daisy. Daisy guessed July 4th as the date of the birth. The actual date of the birth was July 5th. So she's off by one day. So what we would do there is take that one day, and in this case, we would take the date of birth, and there's two point deduction for each day. So since she's off by one day, that'd be a total of two points uh, from her 50 point for that column, and that would give her 48 points. And then you do the same thing for each uh, additional column. So the variance for the time of the birth, the weight, and the uh, length, and then here's the number of points that you'd multiply each of those by. Now, I also have a rule down here to round down to the nearest hour, pound, or inch before calculating the difference. So for example, if we look at the time of the birth, and these times are in a 24-hour clock or military time, we can see the actual time was 1930. The guest time for Daisy was 3.13, 3.13 a.m. So in order to calculate the difference, we'd first just round down. So we'd round down this to 19. We'd round this down to uh, 3. 19 minus 3 is 16. And then in this case here, there's one point for each hour. So that'd be one times 16. It's a total of 16 point deduction from the 50 points for this column. And she'd get 34 points. So that's how that works. And that would be the same here for weight. You'd round down to 10, round this down to nine, be a one pound difference in this example. And then that'd be a five point deduction for that uh, one pound. And so you take all those scores there and add them up and that would give you uh, the total right here. And I've hard-coded this in here. Of course, you're going to write formulas to do this, but I've hard-coded that in there as an example so you can check your work. Now, for uh, an exact match, in this case here, she had an exact match of the length of 22 inches. Whenever there's an exact match, uh, the participant gets 100 points for that category. So essentially double the points. She gets 100 points there uh, for scoring an exact match. And again, like it says here, you can see the example in F6, uh, to check your work. And I should clarify that there will be some cases where there is no deduction. So for example, with the time here, the actual time was 1930, we can see down here that Cherie guessed 1953. Now when you round down both of those to 19, and 19 minus 19 is obviously going to be zero, so there's no variance there, which means there's no deduction, so she would score 50 points. Now it's not an exact match, so she's not going to score the 100, but she also won't have a deduction so in that case, she'll just score 50 points. So the challenge is, is determine how many points each person gets and then determine the winner. So you'll calculate the points here in column F. Of course, you can use formulas for this. You can use other techniques in Excel as well or other features, but I think formulas is going to be the easiest. You want this to be dynamic. So if you use this for a different baby shower, or of course the stats will, will change in the future when we actually get the stats, we want to be able to put those in and have the formulas or whatever technique you use automatically update. So you have the points in this column, and then in this column here, you'll just uh, determine the winner. And as a bonus, I put down here, you can also determine who came in second and third place in case they have prizes uh, for first, second, and third. So you can also put that information in column G. So again, your challenge here is to uh, write formulas or whatever technique you use uh, to solve this challenge. And of course, we'll put a link in the description below this video where you can download this file. We'll also have a link there where you can upload your file back once you solve the challenge. And then I'll be back in a few weeks uh, to walk through some popular solutions and explain the techniques and formulas you can use uh, to solve this challenge. And there's a lot of uh, learning here. There's a lot of opportunity to learn. Of course, there'll be different logical statements you'll need to use. And we have some different data types here with dates and text and weights and all this stuff. 
Uh, so there'll be some uh, data cleanup work needed as well. So a lot of opportunity uh, to learn here. I won't give too much away, uh, but a lot of techniques you'll need to use to solve uh, this challenge. So good luck with this one. Try your best, uh, give it a shot, download the file, and then upload your solution back. Again, I'll be back in the future to walk through some solutions. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.